Look at these totals in the mountains. Snow mass is 15 inches of snow. Shout out to the Western Slope. Look at Powderhorn, 14 inches out there. Winter Park has six inches. Breckenridge, Keystone, and Loveland all reporting four inches of snow. CBS 4 radar showing this storm slowly making its way east into Kansas and Nebraska. We're on the backside of it. Snow has now largely wrapped up in the high country. There could still be some minor accumulation in the mountains between now and 9 a.m., but not much. And the heaviest snow here in the metro area, without a doubt, still on the east and south sides of town, and that's where it's going to stay. If you're west of I-25, 25. There's very little of any snow on the ground, but there's definitely wind. 29 mile per hour wind gusts currently up in Broomfield. Same thing down in the Parker area. We've had wind chills in the single digits in many areas around Metro Denver this morning. Blizzard warning continues until 11 a.m. for all the areas shaded in the orange color. Not a whole lot of additional snow, just an inch or two, but it's that blowing snow that's going to cause the problems and uh, limit the visibility. And I don't want to forget about our friends in southwest Colorado, or southeast Colorado, excuse me, two to four inches of snow, wind gusts to 50 miles per per hour from Trinidad to Springfield over to La Junta and Lamar. So by lunchtime, most of the snow will be over with and then we'll see the skies gradually clear this afternoon. In fact, we'll get to see a little sunshine later today. It's just not going to feel like it's a sunny day. Temperatures struggling to reach near freezing and with the wind continuing to howl through the afternoon, Andrea, those wind chills will stay in the single digits and teens. Sunny and warmer, a little bit warmer coming up tomorrow.